Hi, I have a sorted array with values between 0 and 1. From that array, an index is selected if its value is larger or equal to a random value. The program searches for the particular index using binary search. I have only seen videos so far where binary search is used to find an exact value, not a value greater than or equal to. Well, let's take a look. There are two different ways you can interpret this. Either it's okay if you return any value greater or equal to the value you're looking for, or you're trying to look for the smallest value that is greater or equal to the value you're looking for. Let's discuss the first option. If we have a sorted array and we want to get the index that has a value that is greater or equal to some other value, we only have to check the last index. Because if the value of the last index is larger or equal to the value that we are looking for, then we can use that index. And if it's not, we know that there is no number in the entire array that satisfies our condition. So we're done. For this option, we didn't need anything that looked like binary search. But for the next option, let's see how we can take a binary search-like approach to find the smallest value that is greater or equal to a value we're looking for. With normal binary search, we keep track of a left and a right index. And then we check in the middle of them to see whether the number is on the left of the middle or the right of the middle. And that is how we find a specific number. But to solve our problem, we're not going to look for a specific number, but we're actually going to look for a space between two indices, which is the switch from numbers on the left of all the numbers that are smaller than the number we're looking for, and all the numbers on the right, which are all the numbers that are larger or equal to the number we're looking for. To do this, we create a left and a right index, then we check the number in the middle, and if that middle value is smaller than the number we are looking for, we move our left index to that position. In this next case, we again select the middle index between the left and the right index. And now the value we're looking at is larger or equal to the value we're looking for. So we move the right index to that position. If we reach this point, we have reached our stopping condition because our left and our right index are next to each other. So the point in between them is the part we are looking for, which is the division between numbers that are smaller than the value we're looking for and the numbers that are greater or equal to the value we're looking for. We know that the first number in the list of the numbers that are larger or equal to the value we're looking for is the smallest number that we can find in this sorted array that satisfies our condition. Let's take a look at how we can code this in Python. We create a function called binary search greater or equal. The function takes in an array which we call a and it takes in the value for which we want everything greater or equal to as t. We then create our left index and set it to zero and we create our right index which we set to the last index. Then we handle two edge cases. If the value at the left index is larger or equal to the value we are looking for, then we know this is the smallest value in our array which satisfies the larger or equal condition, so we can return the left index. Otherwise we check if the value at the last index of our sorted array is smaller than the value we're looking for, then we know that all the values in the array are smaller than what we're looking for. So we return none because we couldn't find any value that is greater or equal to the value we're looking for. Then we say, as long as the left and right index are not next to each other, create the middle index. If the middle index has a value smaller than the value we're looking for, move the left index to the middle position. Else if the value of the middle index is larger or equal to the value we're looking for, then move the right index to that position. Then once the while loop is done, we can return the right index because it is now pointing at the smallest value that is greater or equal to the value we're looking for. Tell me in the comments how you think you can make this function so that it returns the largest value that is smaller or equal to some value. I hope you learned something new in this video. Feel free to ask more interesting questions. Have a nice day.